I don't fill in anything there. Hi, uh, Maria Sigurd, as I said, as Henrietta said, and the Gothenburg region is a kind of odd organization, with, even in Sweden. There are 30 municipalities organizing on voluntary values, just that we want to cooperate within our western part of Sweden. So we do a lot of things that all, um, but only the things that the, our municipalities are willing to do and want us to do. So it's an odd, odd one in that way. Uh, and we are, as Henrietta said, one of the public sectors actors uh, in this uh, Gothenburg Consortium. And we have been involved in starting and managing projects, processes, and networks related to diverse challenges facing the Gothenburg region. And some of them are climate change, of course, it's a very, very uh, hard issue. Social sustainability, transport, sustainability education, spatial planning, developing urban station communities, and I'm going back to that one. And we have also, one of our goals has been to really try to spread the results of uh, other Mr. Urban Futures projects into our municipalities. So we have been working a lot with communication on all the levels with our, in, in our region. And our involvement in Mr. Urban Future is a logic one. We, we, have, uh, we are facing numerous sustainability challenges and we know we can't, we can't uh, deal with them by our own. We have to work together with researchers and other stakeholders in order to meet these challenges. And in my role as head of the department, I've been involved, uh, as Henrietta said, with project management committees and managing the Gothenburg region's strategic involvement in uh, Mr. Urban Future. And as chairman in this uh, urban station communities, I have learned a lot about how to work to, and to get uh, the researchers and practitioners coming closer to each other. In this project, the re researchers have been a part of the process not just standing outside looking and reflecting. They've really been engaged in it and really been a part of the process. And <coughs> it's like co-creation and co-production ERL in real life. And uh, as Henrietta said, uh, in my everyday work, I work very close uh, and have a close relation to uh, our politicians. And in this co-creation and co-production process, we have included the pro politicians. And in, so they can really see what are the challenges with uh, growing in an urban station uh, community. And what in that way we have had a direct impact. Uh, for example, uh, the research-based urban planning. And as our politicians have been a part of it, they can be, uh, their plan is there too. They have a confidence in that this plan is real good for our municipality, for our region. And this is, uh, and I know that because I can stand for that because I have the researchers, I have my, my special planners, I have my transport uh, engineers, you have everyone in this. So it's kind of um, more uh, stable process with actually building a sustainable society. So that is one of the things we have learned. Uh, and more general, we have learned to think about things in another way. Uh, nowadays, my colleagues, uh, when they have, they hear something, hear something about a problem or something that we ought to look more close into from our municipalities or from other stakeholders or from the national level, one of the most natural questions nowadays is, is this something for Mr. Urban Future? And I think that is a g very, good example of how we actually have an impact in our organization. Uh, and I can also say that we have an, this awareness of the co-creation and uh, that is not, not dangerous to ask a researcher. It's not dangerous to get closer to the academy. We have actually started a cultural revolution within our spatial planning. Uh, and the challenge in the future, I think, is, is to hold on to this co-creation, co-production, where everyone is involved and actually involved in the process. And I can also see, uh, at least uh, from this uh, 
morning and from yesterday, we have a lot, a lot to learn from each other. So I really do hope that this is not the last time to see all these people. Thank you.